<laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to march to that. Thank you very much, Megan. Spinal surgeries, by the way, in our region just got a huge boost with new robotic technology at Reston Hospital. Marquette Shepard took a trip to the medical facility in Fairfax County where the area's leading experts are using the new robot for major spine operations. As one of the first neurosurgeons to use this technology in the region, what type of benefits have you seen in using the Missouri X? You know, the, what I tell patients is having your spine surgery using this technology is like um, there's a difference between a World War II bomb, a dumb bomb, versus a smart bomb. Much less collateral damage. When most of us think of surgery, we imagine a doctor cutting open the body in order to fix something by hand alone. Well, times are changing, and the use of robotics is the game changer. It takes a uh, preoperative CT scan that's performed before surgery, and then it matches that to uh, two shots of x-rays that we take inside the uh, operating room once the patient is positioned, and this sort of matches those uh, data points and merges it. And once that happens, the software is able to direct the robot to any point around the spine. It knows exactly where it is so that uh, even before the surgery starts, I'm at a workstation where I can pre-plan the surgery for exactly where I want the implants placed. Starting point, trajectory, depth, depending on the patient's anatomy and what I'm trying to accomplish. The spine team at Reston Hospital Center is the first in our region to use this robotic technology. What types of conditions are you able to treat with this new technology? Uh, the most commonly ones are, are scoliosis and spinal st stenosis, which is basically pinched nerves in the spine or if you have instability in the spine. Dr. Dhruv Patador says the Mazur X allows a surgeon to work on the spine without having to cut or remove muscle tissue. That means less pain. What the Mazor does is that it allows us to see the landmarks without having to cut all of this off because the robot can use CT as well as x-ray technology and, and it can look through the skin, if, if you will, and, and, and it guides us in the exact trajectory and the spot through which the screw goes. There's less scar tissue, or there's less blood loss, a lower infection rate, because the less you cut, kind of the less chance it has to get infected or bleed or hurt. Dr. Christopher Good is the surgeon of the spine team at Reston Hospital Center, and he sees the amazing benefits for patients, as well as for the surgeons. If you talk to a surgeon, um, using the robot makes your day easier, less stressful, it helps you to work through smaller incisions. So just on the user end, there are a huge amount of benefits. But what's more important is for the patients, right? And we're showing uh, robotic surgery leads to lower complication rates for patients. Uh, it leads to lower rates of re revision surgery, lower rates of needing another surgery to redo something. And we're actually seeing it leads to about a 79% decrease in the radiation that's used in the operating room. Which is important since cancer from radiation exposure is a concern to many patients. After the surgical plan is complete, thanks to the initial scan, a spine surgeon can use the robotic arm to target the incision point with exact precision. When we put implants into the spine, it's very critical that we hit the right target every time. We have to hit a bullseye because the spinal cord, the nerves, the arteries and the veins are all around us. We have to hit that in a precise location. Now we're actually very good at doing that just based on our knowledge of the anatomy and that's how I was trained. But this adds another layer of safety and guidance for me. And Dr. Good points to a recent procedure where his team needed to place several screws in a row in order to solve a more complicated problem. I can then plan how to make those screws all line up perfectly and I can do a surgery of, on the spine this big through little teeny incisions because I'm planning everything to line up at the skin. You can see the curvature in this patient's spine before surgery and then after the surgery the way the spine has been straightened. The other thing we talked about was the asymmetry of the ribs coming up and then after surgery the fact that the ribs are very symmetric. And like the doctors here, Reston Hospital Center has a unique distinction the facility is the first in the region where this groundbreaking technology is being used. The spine team here is literally charting the path for other surgeons in the country to follow. 
it's just a real revolution in terms of what we're able to do for people. Oh boy, the future is now. For more information about this amazing technology, go to www.restonhospital.com. Coming up next, we